Hey, what's up guys? I by Yourself here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, Apple has released iOS 14.0.1 to address a few issues with the official release of iOS 14 just a little over a week ago. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you some of the latest improvements and fixes that Apple has provided with the latest software update. Now, this one is available for everyone to download right now. So this is not a beta. This is an official release worldwide and this has some very much needed bug fixes and improvements starting with uh, an issue that could cause the safari browser and the mails application settings to reset after rebooting your device so if you were having that issue ios 14.0.1 does address and fix those issues now for iphone 7 users there was an issue with the camera on ios 14 where it failed to actually show the previews after taking a picture. So that's also been addressed with 14.0.1 on iPhone 7 that is, and 7 Plus. So if you were having that issue with your camera, then now Apple has addressed that in the latest version of iOS 14. Another bug fix and improvement that Apple is looking to address with iOS 14.0.1 is an issue that many have reported, and that is the issue with Wi-Fi not connecting to the iPhone. And even uh, some Apple Watches are having this issue as well, where they just connect to Wi-Fi and then disconnect randomly, right? So if you were having that issue, hopefully Apple has acknowledged this on the latest iOS 14. So hopefully this latest update fixes that issue for you on iOS 14.0.1. Not only Wi-Fi, but Apple uh, also has some issues on the iPhone with Bluetooth as well. But Apple is definitely targeting Wi-Fi with this software update, and that's gonna be for all iPhones across the board. It also resolves an issue where the iPhone would fail to send to emails from uh, different uh, providers. So if you have several providers in your emails, it would fail to send. I encountered that issue myself, and this software also improves upon that and there's also one fix for the widget so the widget for the uh, mail application or actually the news application would fail to actually show the images for the news so if you go into uh, edit mode here on the screen and you added the news widget then the news widget would fail to actually display these images on the display of your iphone so you can see there now uh, it looks like they've been addressed here on the latest software so hopefully if now you use that widget before then apple has resolved that issue as well not many users probably use the uh, widget for the news application but some may do it especially on ipad so that's also an issue that apple is looking to resolve with the latest ios 14 again this software is now available for everyone uh, worldwide so you can download it right now this is again a minor update but yet with very much needed improvements and bug fixes i'm sure apple will continue to release some more minor software updates to continue improving and tweaking the ios 14 experience to be a little more optimized and better right the battery is also one thing that apple needs to target with the ios 14 release so we'll have to wait and see when the next software will be released hopefully bluetooth battery and other minor issues continue to be addressed with ios 14 here shortly thank you for watching today's video guys have a great day and i'll see you on the next one peace